Did you know? Research links pesticides to asthma, autism, ADHD, cancer, Parkinson's disease, Alzheimer's, birth defects, fertility problems, and more. Pesticides are particularly dangerous for children. Pediatrician Lauren Gerritsen says we're going to have to make major decisions about pesticide use to protect our children. Pesticides contaminate local waterways in the Chesapeake Bay and have been linked to intersex fish in the Potomac River. Fish pathologist Vicki Blazer told the Washington Post that if pesticides are found in wild organisms, there's a good chance they are also affecting people. Pesticides also threaten wildlife, including honeybees. One out of every three bites of our food is reliant on honeybee pollination. Yet last year, Maryland beekeepers reported losing nearly half their beehives. The cause is unknown, but pesticides have been linked to the problem. A Maryland beekeeper worries that if the current trend of 50% loss continues, in a few years, we will have no bees. More than four out of 10 Maryland voters are very concerned about pesticide health risks. Voters' concern grows to 90% when they hear about the links to disease, bee deaths, fish mutations, and contaminated waterways. So what can we do about it? Scientists say professional pesticide applicators, including farmers and lawn care companies, need to report their pesticide use. This will help researchers determine if and when pesticides are affecting public health, waterways, and wildlife. 79% of Maryland voters favor requiring professional applicators like farmers and lawn care companies to report their pesticide use. Public health expert Lynn Goldman says pesticide reporting also provides citizens with the right to know about chemicals used in our environment. Act now. Visit www.smartonpesticides.org to sign our petition and tell Maryland officials that you support scientifically valid pesticide reporting.